Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Pupils of the Preprashet Basic School in the Doma East District of the Bono region sit on pieces of logs during instructional hours. Stanley Nibler reports the school also shares an office with the community's chips compound. Peprashed is a hinterland community surrounded by more than four adjoining communities. The community is fortunate to have a school which for more than five years has been serving pupils in the catchment areas. <laughs> However, teaching and learning are done under harsh conditions. The Parents Teacher Association supported the school by providing some makeshift structures to accommodate the pupils. Made with bamboo, the structures protect the children from the scorching sun but expose them whenever it rains. Without adequate furniture, pupils strive to catch up with the day's academic activities. Few available desks serve primary pupils but seats are allotted pupils on first-come, first-served basis. Kindergarten pupils sit on pieces of logs. The dusty floor is an alternative. The situation, which has persisted for more than four years, makes concentration in class very difficult. Teachers posted to the school find the situation discomforting. Class teachers are also suffering in classrooms because the pupils don't have chairs uh, and tables. Uh, they are suffering. All that we are saying is that the government should come to our aid. Some parents say they are interested in changing the fortunes of the school. The school also shares an office with the community's chips compound. The community allotted the place to the school after the authorities became stranded accessing a place to keep their property. This is the office. I don't know why I did it. It's the office. 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 It's the a mud structure being constructed to serve as a school's office has stalled because the parents say they did not reap enough from the sale of their cocoa to buy roofing sheets. In spite of the challenges, teachers are doing their best to impact the pupils. We are doing our best to help the children because there's no other means of doing that. Doma East District Director of Education, Joseph Amwa Mensa, said the issue of furniture is widely spread in the district. Furniture is a big issue. From this I am saying that if need be, any contractor is awarded to any contractor to build classroom, they shouldn't leave the furniture component. They should also make sure they get the furniture into the place so that when you hand it over, uh, then it's a total turn. They enter in, they don't have much problem. District Chief Executive for Doma East, Emmanuel Kofi Ajuman, said plans are in place to address the phenomenon. Furniture is quite um, challenging. The uh, government recently brought us some desk, but uh, it was way, way, way below uh, the, the quantity that we needed. Assembly is making that effort, um, but um, the budget line is not so huge. Um, what we have been doing is trying to do so much with something little. That is the effort we've been making. Our idea is that if we are able to get timber free of charge, then with the same amount of money, we should be able to do more of the furniture rather than giving it on contract and the person will have to go and buy wood and buy almost everything before he does it. Teachers and pupils of Pipra Shed require stakeholders' commitment in addressing their concerns. Let's now go to the Doma Central Municipality where the building accommodating kindergarten pupils of the Chichire Basic School is near collapse. Stanley Nibler reports this is putting the lives of pupils and teachers at risk. 
Over 200 pupils from eight dispersed communities are enrolled at the Chichere Basic School. Primary one to six pupils study in a decent classroom constructed by the Municipal Assembly less than a decade ago. However, the building has started deteriorating. There are defects in all the classrooms. Fire. Kindergarten pupils are confined in a mud structure. Already, the structure has had portions of its roof ripped off. Most of the wood supporting the structure have been eaten by termites. This puts the lives of teachers and pupils in danger, affecting teaching and learning in the process. The Parents Teacher Association put up the structure to accommodate the growing population of the school. It is long term value that uh, the government should have come in to build the permanent shelter for us. So if it is um, windy, you have to close the children to go home because of the, the, the shelter of the um, block. The state of the building residency has reduced the school's enrollment. We are moving from village to village to convince them that uh, sooner or later the government will come and put up uh, a new searcher for us so they should bring them to the school. And even we, we started with a small feeding program which is helping them. We were managing the, the internally generated funds to uh, retain the st students in the school. Aside the deplorable state of the school building, furniture in the school is inadequate. A broken bench serves the pupils. The junior high school also has a similar problem. The community said it is willing to support the school but lacks the funds. Municipal Chief Executive for Doma Central, Drisa Watara, said funding remains a major challenge to the provision of infrastructure in the municipality. We have so many cases you know, in the municipality, but in all of this, um, it's a challenge. But we are doing our bit to make sure that we make life comfortable for our people. So it's not only Chichi Re. Of course, um, if you get the funding, why not? We'll go there to work for our people. That's what we are looking forward to you know, doing. The assembly has, however, provided teachers with a bungalow, hoping to secure funds to address the remaining challenges. The Chichi Re school, like others, would require stakeholders' commitment to address its challenges. And that's all for Mission. Mission is supported by Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks so much for your time.